The dominant narrative in the U.S. is that the Afghan war is over. And for the Biden administration, that's a great relief, it would seem. But of course, uh, many of us here thinking about this through the lens of history and the politics of Afghanistan, we know that for Afghan society, the war is, is hardly over. In fact, it's just entered a new kind of phase. The American decision to invade Afghanistan, to launch this 20-year 20, 20 war, appeared to be the right choice at the time. At the morning of, of September 11, 2001, it looked like the U.S. was under attack in a way that was wholly unprecedented. And I think the simple answer at the moment was to pick a kind of conventional target, to pick a more or less traditional foe, a country, uh, rather than this obscure idea of a, a network. And I think the, the White House you know, acted in haste. It was, I think, highly symbolic. Um, it was a, an act of revenge. And, and once the U.S. government toppled the Taliban regime, you know, it had to do something in its place. And that something was a 20-year story of miscalculations, of misunderstandings, of short-term fixes, of alliances with characters who did not share you know, American goals or values. The Biden administration made a very momentous decision to withdraw from Afghanistan. It's the end of an era which, though problematic, though marked by corruption, though marked by inequality, though marked by violence, was um, a very welcome alternative to Taliban rule. You know, which had dominated the country from 1996 to 2001. And the return of the Taliban means that a lot of what many Afghans had hoped to make of the society would no longer be possible. Immediately, the problem of hunger and of disease and the problem of the Afghan displaced population, the refugee, um, some of whom will join us here in California, others uh, you know, are on their way to Europe, others will stay in the region for the most part, but all these challenges will become part of global politics and it will affect their lives you know, for this your nation and, and beyond. This is not a place that's shut itself off from the planet. It's actually a place that has been very much um, part of our past, you know, whether it's through trade, whether it's through education, whether it's through cultural ties. You know, our past is their past and, and their, their future is our future.